In this video, we're going to be reducing a power. So we're going to rewrite the sine to the fourth power of x as a sum of first powers of the cosines of multiple angles. To do this, we're going to need our power reducing formulas. We're going to start by saying that the sine to the fourth power of x is actually the sine squared of x squared. And we can do that because sine squared times sine squared is sine to the fourth. So now we want to break this down a little bit more. And we see that we've got the sine squared of x, which is one of our power reducing formulas right here. And so we can go ahead and we can rewrite that which gives us the quantity 1 minus the cosine of 2x all divided by 2 squared. From here, we can go ahead and distribute that squared to our numerator and our denominator, which gives us the quantity 1 minus the cosine of 2x squared all divided by 4. Now, the reason we did this is so that we can see hey, we can take that 4 out. We can factor out a 1 4. And then from there, we're going to be able to expand our binomial that's left. So here we have our 1 4 pulled out. And now we're free to expand our 1 minus 2x quantity squared binomial. We can expand that out, which is going to give us 1 4 times the quantity 1 minus 2 cosine 2x plus cosine squared of 2x. And so now we see that we have a cosine squared of 2x, which also goes with one of our power reducing formulas. So we can go ahead and use that. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to plug that in now, which is going to give us 1 fourth times the quantity 1 minus 2 times the cosine of 2x plus 1 plus the cosine of 4x over 2. Now notice that our 2x changed to a 4x, and it did that because our formula said to take that 2x and times it by 2, which gives us a 4x. And we're out of room, so I'm just going to move over here back up to the top. And so now we can go ahead and distribute our 1 fourth, which is going to give us 1 fourth minus 1 half times the cosine of 2x plus 1 plus cosine of 4x all over 8. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to rewrite this a little bit differently so that we can see what, what we can combine here. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to kind of split this apart a little bit. Now that's going to give us a 1 fourth minus 1 half cosine of 2x plus 1 eighth plus 1 eighth of cosine of 4x. So here I can see that I can put my 1 fourth and my 1 eighth together. And so we're going to do that. So if I take 1 fourth and I add 1 eighth to that, that's going to give me 3 eighths. And I still have my minus 1 half cosine of 2x plus 1 eighth cosine of 4x. So I see that I have a 3 eighths, a 1 half, and a 1 eighth. When I look at that, I know that I can factor out a 1 eighth. But it might make a little bit more sense if we write that 1 half in the eighths so that you can see it a little bit better. So let's do that. We know that 1 half is actually 4 eighths. So let's write that. So here we can see it's a little bit easier to take out that 1 8. So we're going to go ahead and factor out 1 8 now, which gives us 1 8 times the quantity 3 minus 4 times the cosine of 2x plus the cosine of 4x. And that's it. We're done. We've just written the sine of to the fourth power of x as the sum of first powers of the cosines of multiple, multiple angles. This example happens to show a typical power reduction that's used often in calculus. 
note the repeated use of the power reducing formulas.